七十四。香港政府新聞英文版 Excessive Pesticide Residues Found in Mango Sample， 二零一五年七月二十二日 Press Release Excessive Pesticide Residues Found in Mango Sample in the Centre for Food Safety (CFS) of the Food and Environmental Hygiene Department announced today, July 二十二。At a mango sample was detected with pesticide residues at a level exceeding the legal limit. The CFS is following up on the case, a spokesman said. The CFS collected the mango at a market fruit stall in Shamshuri Pro for testing under its regular food surveillance program. Test results showed that the sample contained chlorpyrifos at a level of lingdim lingta parts per million ppm. I eat yet them say times the maximum residue limit, ling dim ling n p p m based on the level of pesticide residues detected in the sample. Adverse health effects will not be caused under normal consumption. The spokesman added that generally speaking, rinsing fruit thoroughly under running water can reduce the level of pesticide residues. To further reduce the intake of pesticide residues, the fruit can be peeled. Since the pesticide residues in food regulation, Chap 一百三十二厘米 came into effect on August yet last year, the CFS has taken more than 二十八二百 samples at import, wholesale, and retail levels for testing of pesticide residues, and a total of 一百零四 vegetable and fruit samples, including the unsatisfactory sample announced today. Have been detected as having excessive pesticide residues. The overall unsatisfactory rate is less than ling dim say percent. Any person who imports, manufactures, or sells any food not in compliance with the requirements of the pesticide residues in food regulation concerning pesticide residues commits an offence and is liable to a maximum fine of million ngs up ling 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 and to imprisonment for six months upon conviction. The CFS will follow up on the unsatisfactory result, including tracing the sources and distribution of the food in question, and taking samples for testing so as to safeguard public health. Investigation is ongoing. Ends Wednesday, July 22, 2015.